Hey, what's up? We about to get lit and turn her up because her hair is on fire. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Ivy Nicole. And it's your girl, Kay. And today we're back at it again with another mother flipping video. So today I put a post on Instagram asking y'all if y'all wanted to ask us questions or if y'all wanted to talk about certain topics. Y'all commented, so I'm about to close that post right now. And yeah, we're about to get to that. So if you want to see what we're going to talk about, questions we're going to answer, whatever, whatever, in this video, then please keep on watching. Okay. Heaven knows I like to be way, way up. Uh, Popping on them trees, I said way, way up. Uh, In between the knees, I said lay, lay it up. How do you feel about hey people like? I don't know how I feel about them because I don't deal with them. I don't deal with fake people, no, I don't deal with them. If I smell just a little bit of fake, if I feel the fake vibe, you feel the vibe. Mm -mm. I'm not even going to give you the time of day. I'm not going to give you Hit the benefit no. of the doubt. I don't got time. It's 2018. Hashtag do better. 2018, don't got time for it. What? If you could tell your old self something, anything, what would it be? Hmm. Oh. Um... Just stop giving in to negative energy and negative people. That's what I tell myself to stop doing. I would tell myself, don't take none of these niggas seriously. That too. None of them. No. Literally. <laughs> if I knew I was going to be with none of them, I would have told myself not to take <laughs> none of them mofos seriously. What's the other one? What is one thing you both dislike about each other? What? What? Why are you clapping <laughs> your face? No, my like eyebrows is shit. Oh. What is one thing you both dislike about one another? Man. This girl is so annoying. I need to wild her friend sometimes. What? Oh my gosh. She does, like, literally, one thing I hate about her. I, I don't dislike it. I hate this about her. She reach, when, I don't know. She just be having her moods. Like, and if I didn't know how to deal with her, we wouldn't be friends. Because I would just be so freaking fed up. And I would just be like, bro, I don't care. Don't talk to me. She'll have, like, these moments where, like, she'll have an attitude. Like, for no reason. <laughs> And it's so funny because it's not like she's rude or anything. She just has like a... I'm very aggressive when I talk. You can tell. Kind of, but w what I'm talking about is like your whole mood will change. Yeah, we'll be in the car all lit. And if something happened or if something is sad or something, she'll just be like, I don't know. And I'm like, yes, you do know. I said, where do you want to go to eat? Man, open your mouth and tell me where you want to go to eat. And we go. And then that's when when I have when I say stuff like that, it makes her cheer up, and then she gets over it. But I'm just like, well, why did we have to go through that? We could have just be, you just could have told me where you wanted to eat. That's really one thing that gets me mad. And that, yeah, she does that with a lot of things. Like, and she, if she doesn't know how to make a decision or something, she'll get aggravated, and then I have to be like, okay, K, we can either do this. It's not that serious. I, it's fine. Like, but other than that, yeah, that's the only thing that irritates me. And that she didn't try color, but obviously I see that I forced her to do it, so. Don't come for me, because I'll come for you. Anyways. You gotta answer it. Uh, oh. Uh, what you think that I do? I don't do nothing. I'm a good, Wait. I'm a good, chill human being. I just, you know what I dislike strongly? Mm. When she asks me, but okay, what should I do? Wear this color or that color? I'm like, this color. She be like, I'm gonna go with the other one. Like, sit. Why you ask me that? Why you ask me that if you gon' go with the opposite thing no, I said? That's why I'm like yes or no. She be like, I be like no. That's why I have like, to ask you because okay. if I don't ask you, then I won't know what to choose. And then she be like, and go the, do the opposite. So like, if she if I say should I wear pink or purple? I say she'll, pink. Say, she'll say pink, and I'll be like, all right, cool, I'm more purple. Because I'm that's like, how I know my answer. Because if you said if you said purple, then I want to wear pink. But sometimes she be listening. Sometimes you, you sometimes, say, okay, I'll, but that's sometimes. a really rare, rare. But no, rare it's not even about thing. listening. It's about genuinely. I have to know what she wants. I'm a rebel, so I like to do what people the opposite, the opposite of what people do. I'm like, so I like ask my girl, mom, what sunglasses look good, and she'll choose one. I'll be like, all right, cool. Now I know which one I do. You <laughs> were the opposite. She's like. I'm like, thanks, mom. So, they, we're confused because we don't understand. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I dislike. Other than that, oh, okay, shit. yeah. Let me get these up the, the, the way. These are five questions from John. He said, What sets you apart from other YouTubers? And, or what, what, do you, what do you think sets me apart from other YouTubers? And why should new followers be interested in my content over others? Okay, I think what sets you apart? Yeah. 
Um, you don't really, you're trying to come from the heart. You're trying to be genuine about like how your videos are. You don't want to fake it. You don't want to, I'm not going to come for these YouTubers, but a lot of YouTubers do fake it and continue and repeat the same thing. And you try to do different concepts, especially trying to spice it up. So I think you're trying to be genuine about your YouTube channel. Like it's coming from you. You're trying to work really, really hard and you're, it's it's so easy to become really big, but you're just trying to start like take it. I'm trying steps. to be genuine about it. You gotta crawl before you walk. No, it's not that. It's just, she's I'm just trying. trying. It's yeah. easy. If anybody so nowadays want to be blow up, all you gotta do is a couple things, and that's it. And but boom, I'm not trying I'm to do cool, that. I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm not trying to do that now because I don't want to be known. She gonna blow up for being genuine, genuine like DK for life. They're really a genuine couple. I really love them. Shout out to y'all. Uh, what new content can we expect from you in 2018? Um, honestly, I, I don't really plan my content ahead of time. I just go with the flow. Whatever I feel like making a video about, I make mm -hmm. a video about. Um, I guess one new addition to the channel that you will see is skits. Mm -hmm. Um, challenges more and maybe pranks, maybe. Um, 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 will you be opening a P.O. box for the Abby supporters to send gifts, gifts, etc.? I will. I don't know when though. And he said Abby supporters. Y'all are my A gang, okay? And have you have you decided on when and where and how you would like to go about a meet and greet? Well, when I took a poll on Instagram, um, half of my followers or half of the people that vote or more than half, a little more than half of y'all. Anyway, um, yeah. So I don't know. I will let y'all know though about the meet and greet and when that heat dropping. Stop! Just be patient and let this the heat right here. Let her be the heat. She dropped already. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Um, relationship and high school boy problems. I wish y'all were more specific about this. Next time I'm gonna make y'all send us Snapchat videos okay. like Alija yeah. did with Justin. Okay. But I mean, what relationship? Do you want? Honestly, relationships. This is how I see it. High school boys, I, they, yeah. like, I, okay. What I always did, except for one relationship, mm -hmm. but in all my other relationships or any encounter that I have with a guy, I always put in the back of my mind that this is going to be temporary. If it doesn't work out, it's fine. It's okay. You're still going to be fine. Mm -hmm. And because I put that thought in the back of my mind, it always made me feel like I'm going to be good no matter what, which I was. But some people, um... And I talked about this with my ex at one point. He was like, oh, I always think nobody should date in high school. There's no point. And I'm just like, no, I actually think people should. Because by the time they're out of high school, they will know what they want. And I feel like high school, honestly, it might sound weird. But I personally feel like high school is a time where, you know, a lot of kids or a lot of, you know, people are learning about stuff about life, whether it be drugs, this, that, and the yeah, third. High school is kind of when you're starting to develop into yourself, like... From freshman to senior year, you're kind of starting to get to know yourself better, learn new things about yourself. Even when you graduate, you're still kind of learning new things about yourself. But yeah. But, but you're, you're more older now. As far as relationships in high school, though, I, I support it because, I mean, yeah. not to the extreme, like, don't go get pregnant and stuff. <clears throat> but, like, I support it because by the time you get out of high school, you'll know what you want. And then you don't have to go mess around with college dirty boys, which, you know, is a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I mean... With high school, like how we did it, is like we just we were just young, and we just made like at the end of the day, once you get to the real world, it's like reality is hitting you left and right. But at high school, I think you should really just have fun. Like I have my Even fun. though you're you're gonna have boys that you like, you're gonna have little boyfriends. But honestly, even high school sweethearts could tell you some of them don't work out. So I think you guys should just if you have a high school boy problems or even girl problems, just live life. Because at the end of the day, you guys are still trying to grow up and still trying to figure yourself out, like I said. So, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you're going to have a boyfriend, but y'all are still not fully grown up yet. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Do you feel like there's stereotypes when it comes to dating? Females have to be a certain way and men have to be a certain way. I feel like if I have to be a certain way in a relationship or dating, I don't even want to talk to you. Because I should be able to be myself. Like, even in the beginning, I don't want to be too crazy. But I still gotta be myself. I'm not gonna be comfortable with you if I'm not. I'm so I shouldn't to act a certain exactly way. Exactly what he means by this question. What do you mean act a certain way though? Yeah, because he's saying stereotypes. What are stereotypes? I'm gonna go on with <laughs> FaceTime Chantre. No, I know what's but I mean like what does he mean? 
by the relationship. FaceTime Chantre. Making a FaceTime call to Scienter loudly crying face. What did you mean by your question? Like, do you feel like guys should be a certain way? Do you believe that's the real types behind each sex? In what way, though? Like, for example, for a girl, if you're in a relationship, do you feel like the woman always has to clean up after a man, or do you always feel like she has to? Okay. Talk to you later. So basically, um, y'all heard what he said. Um, pretty much, I feel like there shouldn't be stereotypes in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, but then again, um, from what I believe in, from what I grew up with, I always seen my mom say, you know, your father is the man of the house. He has mm -hmm. to decide this and that. I don't really agree with that because, I mean, if you're a companionship, if you're a partnership, I just feel like it should be 50-50. Like, mm -hmm. I, that's just how I feel. But, I mean, I mean, everybody has their own beliefs, but as far as, like, the the woman should cook and clean and the man should this, that, I don't feel like I that's I think it's, right. a, it's a team. You basically, yeah. you guys are basically a team. It shouldn't be, like, you, I expect you to do this. Because if I'm cooking for my man, I expect him to return the favor. That's mm -hmm. how I am in my house. Like, we re one day she'll cook, the next day he'll cook. Like, you know, stuff like that. It's teamwork. Mm -hmm. Teamwork type stuff. Yeah. Collaboration with small YouTubers. Um, I and we plan on doing that. I just have to figure out how I'm going to do it and what collaborations we would do. Because I don't want to do boring, old, simple makeup tutorials and collab. Like, it has to be something fun and lit. So, I'll figure that out. Oh, shit. <laughs> we both tired, y'all. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? You don't know where you see yourself in time? Um, I mean, if I go far with YouTube, if once I start, I feel like I'm going to be working really hard on that. And also, like, building a name for myself and a brand. So, 10 years later, I'll probably have a huge brand in my name. Well, our name. Or whatever. Yeah. 10 years from now, I'm going to be about 30. Mm-hmm. So I see myself married with a kid, hopefully. Oh, I was hopefully. like, I was just like, few, like career wise, I didn't know. Um, I see myself married with a kid, um, or a couple kids. Oh. Ah, okay. I see myself married, successful, and honestly, if if this, um, if this blows up for me the way I intend to. I could gain really, you know, a lot of success, and I just plan to give back. Sorry, I'm just really tired. I just plan to get, mind you, it's one, it's twelve forty-five in the morning. Anyways, I plan to give back, do good things with my life. Um, I just want to be comfortable, chill, and and peace at peace with my life. And you know, however that happens, whether it's married or not. I just want to be happy and be peaceful. That's all I want. I see myself in 10 years being happy mm -hmm. and successful. That's it. I want in life. Okay. VidCon this year. Yes. Kaylee, we try not to go. Comment, comment down in the comments. Kaylee, go to VidCon. Kaylee, go to VidCon. Because I need to go. I need to get my ticket and stuff and my pass. So that's that. But yeah, Shalom, thank you for asking that question. I'm definitely going, and I hope that we can see you, and we can link up and party like we did last time. And, yeah. Okay, how's life going? Life gives you limits. I was like, <laughs> no, life is fucking... Life will bleep it. chew you. Life is you out. so Kick you in the gut. Hard. Stick its foot up your ass. Um, punch you in the throat. Life really will grab your you uvula, up. <laughs> make your head pul palpitate. Like that's what life is. Life is really hard, but you know, every day I wake, I'm I'm blessed to wake up mm -hmm. and be able to start my day. You know, do things that a lot of people won't be able to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Someone said, "Do you do other people's makeup?" Yay Shoot. and nay. I don't be really wanting to go through all that because that means I have to buy a makeup collection with every single shade, every mm -hmm. little, and I, I don't got time. Um, excuse me. If you had a chance to take back something you've done in the past, what would it be? Mm. 
giving the wrong guys my time. Because sometimes I wish I had that time back, but now it's like, what can I do? I wish. I wish. Yeah. Go ahead. I wish. And I never took none of these niggas serious. That's it. <laughs> like, honestly. That's it. I wish, I, yeah, I just wish I never took these people serious and give them my time. Because now I can't have it back. If it's there, stuck. Yeah. If there was an eating challenge where you had to eat nasty stuff similar to Fear Factor, who would you, who would be able to do it? Complete we both. The complete. Uh, I would throw up. One time I saw they did this thing where they had a vending machine that they had to chew stuff out the vending machine and it was like sardines, vinegar, uh, soy milk, rotten eggs and they had to blend it in a cup and drink all of it. Sister. In like 20 seconds and I was like, oh no. I'm not doing that. When you were younger, what were some things you never listened to your parents' advice on? Like no matter what they said, you did it anyways. When they told me about a friend, and I never listened to that. <laughs> oh, I, oh, my, everything. Yeah. Because <laughs> honestly, it's not even in a disrespectful way. It's just like certain things you have to let the kid learn by themselves. Yeah, I'm the type of person where I have to, like, I hear I have you, to I hear you and everything, and I appreciate you for caring for exactly. me, but just let me learn. I, their let voice me, is still in the back of my head, but let me learn. I'm still living life. Just let me go through it. For real. So I could say I went through it too. And I'd be like, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. This happened. Don't be like, I told you. But just be like, this happened. It happened. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna lie to I'm zooted. By zooted, I mean I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> zooted. Um, okay. Honestly, I feel like we should do a part two because I want y'all to send me videos. Mm -hmm. Because it's hard to like know exactly what y'all want from me when I can't really see much but like a couple words so thank you so much for watching this video sorry if i'm like kind of dead i'm just like really tired i'm not even gonna lie it's it's we late tired, i had a long day and kayla lives like 45 minutes away from me right now so that drive gonna be crazy <laughs> right, so. that's why i'm so tired and lazy -eyed. anyways <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you check out the other ones and give this video a thumbs up. Follow us on our social medias. It'll be and in the comment down, down below. below if y'all want to see me with more hair. Yeah, color. more. Yeah, yeah. I know I got a bunch of hair colors that I'm gonna just throw on her and make her do. <laughs> so let us know. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay. Hmm. Be like, uh, uh, but, 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 babe, babe. Uh, 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 who's that Bible study? <laughs> who's that Bible? Like, why?